I would be on a... I cannot. I, I, don't, I, I don't know that information right now. And what does this mean for the... Gone by the time officers got here. They did, however, discover some people hurt that had been shot. Um, initially, th four people were transported to the St. Joe Hospital in critical condition with gunshot injuries. One other person was transported with no injuries, apparently it was an asthma attack, and one person was deceased at the scene. Um, right now, this is a joint effort between multiple agencies, uh, College Station PD's here, Brian Fires here, um, and, and many more that I'm missing here uh, responded to assist, work this, to assist working this scene. As you can imagine, it's very complex because you have a whole number of workers at the warehouse, and uh, so we're sorting through all that and, and interviewing witnesses and talking to people that know what happened. Chief, can you provide information about a suspect or suspects at this point? Um, it's a little bit early for that, but we believe we may. There may be a suspect in custody, but we're still working on that. And that's working with the DPS, who I should have mentioned was helping out, obviously, today also. Is there any connection with the DPS involved incident in Iola involved in this case? Um, I, I can't confirm that, but I, they may be related. Is there expected to only be one suspect involved in the situation? Um, we're still investigating that. We know, obviously, at least one suspect. Um, I've heard. Uh, I know a lot came, but I don't know the number of ambulances. Uh, do you know the number of them? Last I heard, we were at six. And I'm Coles, uh, Bryce County Sheriff's Office. Everybody respond, DPS. They all responded here to assist. Do we know the agency? In Bryan, Texas, basically, they're not really telling much information. You guys can check out um, the rest of it. I'll post the link. Uh, Bryan, Texas, the suspect of a deadly shooting at a central Texas custom cabinet manufacturing is in custody, but not after the person also wounded a state trooper in pursuit. As police said, five people were shot, one of them fatally. Um, so we got five people shot and one are dead at this point they're reporting. Okay, so at the industrial park complex in the town of Bryan, which is located in the shadow of Texas AM University, about 100 miles northwest of Houston. Okay, so... Here's another one, and it's very interesting and very ironic that this happened to have happened. And the suspect got away for a little bit. They think they might have a person of interest in custody, but here's the thing. The fact remains is that they're not sure yet. I think what's very interesting is that Joe Biden, the president, is about to pass a whole bunch of new gun legislations. And, uh, you know, well, at least uh, not legislation, excuse me, executive action executive orders today uh i did a video on it earlier he's just expected to pass like up to five or six executive actions or executive orders uh relating to gun bans okay so i think that's very ironic that he's doing that and then this happens today and then all of a sudden since he's been in president we have had you know a few uh mass shootings obviously we all know about what happened at the massage parlors in atlanta and also the grocery store in boulder colorado 10 people dead so i don't know what's going on here does anyone else think this is strange i do uh hit me up in the comments let me know what you think um if you agree with what i'm trying to share and give people food for thought and you respect that and trying to help people to see outside the box that there's definitely an agenda on the extreme left democratic agenda to create gun bans that make it harder for law-abiding citizens to legally acquire weapons from here forward and make it extremely difficult and eventually at some point probably go for all the guns and try to take the second amendment um if you agree with me and you think that's definitely a possibility please like and share this video thank you